On today's adventure with Trove One, we hang out with a toad, slide up a steep hill, cross a creek, and cross a creek. Welcome back. This is what a kitchen looks like right now. Someday it will be way more organized and neat and clean and easier to use, but you guessed it, we're going camping. So we're gonna have to work with it as it is. I did screw the, the board on there, so that's fastened up now. And then we threw all our stuff in because we wanna go camping. Uh, it's supposed to rain tonight, so this will be our first trip in the rain. If it actually does rain, we'll see some chance of some storms so that'll be fun it's late of course i just got off work a little while ago got home threw everything in that sarah didn't already have in and now we're we're gonna head out and find a spot not exactly sure where we're going we had plans but now we're behind so we may change our plans that's what you do with kids you adapt and overcome but we're gonna head out and go find a place and spend a night camping and probably hike well we've made it to camp and it's obviously very dark and it's kind of raining right now uh, we just got pulled in the kids are still in the vehicle i'm gonna try to get a few things set up and then we'll get them out and probably straight into the camper and we hadn't had supper yet we've had a little bit of snack but we need to eat a little bit more supper so right now i'm just under this working great at the moment for our little kitchen space which isn't very organized but we got enough here where we can we need to do a little cooking we can do it Listen to those night sounds. All the frogs, the rain. Uh, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. <sighs> oh. This is fun. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get set up a little bit more and uh, probably get the kids straight into the camper tonight. It's not that far from bedtime anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. Cooking up a little, Karen, get out of there. a little dinner here. Everybody else is in there, and we're just passing food through the cubby holes. So, about to get this. We're gonna have a fire, but since it's raining, we decided not to try to start a fire and stand out in the rain and cook. So, we're doing it this way, and we're just gonna eat inside, which will be a first. So, fun stuff. Mommy, daddy, mommy, and daddy, mommy, yeah. and daddy, and daddy. Hmm. Then just say daddy. Yes, you are, Goose. <laughs> They're so loud. This little mud hole right here just full of frogs and these salamanders and stuff. It's so loud in right here. Pretty cool. I've never been able to like sit and watch one of them do it in person. There's like probably 50 of them in here doing it. It's so cool. If the kids weren't already in bed, I'd bring them out here and show it to them, but I'll just have to show them the video later. Cool stuff. Well, good morning, everybody. Beautiful morning. Got a good sleep last night. A little bit of rain. It was very relaxing. Everybody slept pretty good. So um, the kids are actually still asleep. We actually have had like 20 minutes of 
just us being up. Went for a little walk just around camp. I'm looking at the creek, but pretty, pretty little spot out here. There's tons of these out in the Ozarks. Uh, we're always, always looking for spots by creeks, and this is a nice one, but Sarah's starting to get breakfast stuff ready, and I'm going to try to get a little bit of campfire going. We didn't bring much wood, but we're going to get a little bit of a fire going this morning, and then uh, eat breakfast and hit the road again and see where we end up at. Well, it's been an exciting morning so far. We got breakfast. It's raining again. We got breakfast all eaten up, and we're just getting things picked up to start sprinkling so we went ahead and got everything cleaned up put up real quick and now it's raining pretty good i'm already kind of soaked a little bit just from getting things picked up but not too bad um, just one of those mornings some mornings with kids camping it goes pretty smooth but for the most part it's just chaos <laughs> today was multiple cups of hot chocolate spilled baby crying kid that's cold and we just slowly work through and resolve everything and get everybody taken care of. But sometimes it can be a little stressful, but that's okay. That's part of it, part of life. Whether we're camping or at home, there's times that aren't, aren't as much fun as other times, but that's okay. So now that it's raining, we're gonna load up. Let me grab some snacks out of the back of our fancy kitchen area here. And uh, we're planning on hiking, but I think we're gonna drive up somewhere, try to get some cell service check the right weather radar and see what the rain's going to do today because it's supposed to clear up as of yesterday it's supposed to clear up today we're going to run up and try to check and see if we want to hike or if we want to just explore some back roads either way we'll have fun doing it so we're going to take off again okay so i didn't show you earlier this is our campsite right here cool little spot we're gonna we're gonna hit the road again and see what's going to happen with all this rain We found another cool, cool camping spot. This one's actually better than the last one. This is a great spot. We'll be, we'll be coming back here. There's actually a little section of road in here that I haven't been on, even though we've been close to all this space before. But I hadn't made it quite this far. Yeah, this is a, a cool spot. You can just walk down to the creek. Oh yeah. Great spot. We will be back here. Maybe in the summer. Not too deep. Good spot for the kids to play around a little bit. Oh yeah.
This road's uh, kind of fun, a little steep, but we're almost up the worst part of it. We stopped off here at this little, we climbed a ton. That right down right there, that little tan spot right there. That's the road we were on just a couple minutes ago. So we've climbed a bunch and we're gonna climb some more, but cool, cool area out here. It's all foggy, raining. It's pulling it. I had to put it in, in four low coming up that hill just to make sure we didn't have any slip ups or anything, but just to be safe. But so far so good. See if we can keep on climbing up to the top of the hill here. We made it back down to the to the creek. This is the same creek we were on earlier. We went way up and around and now we're back down to the creek. And we're trying to figure out if we need to try to cross here or not. Otherwise we'd have to go way back. But we're gonna look at it a little bit. And see, this is the road right here, and it looks like it goes out to the right, maybe over there. Or it may go straight, so I'm going to take a look at it and see. wasn't too bad a creek crossing a little bit challenging sarah actually drove the whole thing that was probably one of the more technical things she's done especially pulling pulling the trailer so if you think she did good leave us a thumbs up but uh we'll be headed down the road in a minute supposedly there's an old school over here but i imagine it's just an old maybe a foundation or something but i'm gonna look around for it anyway just curious certainly don't see anything but maybe there's some old rocks or something Yep, nothing, nothing left that I can see. Not even really any foundation. There's a few rocks, like an old rock wall, but nothing visible from what once might have been a neat little country spot. It's long, long past now.
we're out here at uh, what should be a pretty familiar spot. We were just here a couple weeks ago. Falling waters. We were out here like three or four weeks ago. It was completely covered in snow and the waterfall was frozen. It was absolutely gorgeous. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out because that was beautiful. But now it's just a regular waterfall. Just still incredible. <laughs> just an amazing spot, even though we've seen it countless times. It's just a cool spot. But we're going to head on down the road and hike to another waterfall out here. So keep rolling. Stop drawing on the vehicle. Caleb, stop. That's bad for it. You're going to scratch it because it's doesn't have any scratches it's pristine all right we're at richland creek campground and we're gonna go hike we'd actually planned on camping here last night but we didn't have time to get all the way up here and camp so we camped somewhere closer and then came up here so we're gonna try to hike to richland creek falls richland twin falls of richland creek as well we'll see how far we make it it's getting it's like one o'clock or later already so Almost one. We'll see what happens, but we've eaten lunch and we got everybody <laughs> packed up and uh, ready to go. So, so let's hit the trail. Are you crossing the arc? Not right now. It's raining. It's falling. It's falling. It's falling. He bumped his head and couldn't get up. Almost first up, we got to cross the creek here. Mommy's got, got waders on here. <laughs> got, got our wading pants on. And tote the kids across and hope none of us fall in. Hey, Laser. What are you doing? We'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't think you rolled your pants up enough. I don't think you rolled your pants up enough. Talking about laughing at you falling in the creek. Do we have to take our shoes off no, we're gonna carry you. I'm not sure where the best place to cross is. This might not be the best place. We might want to go up or down just a little bit. That's going to be deep right there. So maybe we need to go over by this tree. Just going to be faster water. Well, we decided not to do the hike, so we're headed back. No, not really. <laughs> I'm running our two-year-old's boots back to the vehicle and getting his other shoes because he decided that since mommy is waiting... He could wait as well, but he didn't take his shoes off. So, since we were just barely down the trail, we're gonna run back and get some dry shoes. Then we'll probably follow in the water crossing the creek and it won't matter, but that's what we're doing. Ugh. Kids. Dry socks and shoes headed back down the trail. In case you haven't seen this shirt we made, this pretty much sums up this trip. I don't know if you can read that. It may be backwards, but camping plus children equal chaos. As it says hiking with children and life with children in general. But that's okay. It's worth it. All right. Time to run back down the trail. Trying it out. Seeing if we're going to survive.
Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Come back next time to see how the rest of the hike goes. If you like these shirts we have and you agree that camping with kids is chaos, let us know. If there's enough interest, we'll get some shirts printed up.